Hello friends, welcome back. I am Dr. Suresh Swamiyajula. Yesterday we spoke about why the number of OPD patients or patients who are walking into the hospitals has drastically reduced during the period of this lockdown. That's because of the lifestyle changes which we are forced to. So at the end of the video I told you that we will be discussing a few lifestyle changes which we will be which we will be forced to implement for the coming future. Now gone are the days wherein you will be having huge parties with 100, 200 people around you. So we all know that even those 100, and 200 people were not the best of your buddies. They were mostly acquaintances and these parties were actually a means to show off. Now that will no longer be allowed so let us be prepared for that. Why not? It's, it's more like you start hanging out with just the best of your friends. 5, 6, 10 people at the max. Gone are the days wherein people will be having huge marriage functions or huge gatherings. Be it political, social, religious, anything. Those things will no longer be good for the whole world in general. Anyway, any part of the world, those things might turn into hotspots for infections. So those things will no longer be allowed. So let us be prepared for that. Your house needs an overall. You might want to change the way you decorate your house. Gone are the days wherein you will be having thick rugs or carpets in your house even when you don't need it. I know these rugs are necessary for people living in cold climatic conditions but for other areas this was more of a fashion statement. Same is the case with your window and door curtains. Those things were more fashion accessories for your house rather than really something of utility. Those things will go out, should go out because those things can hold bacteria or viruses in them maybe leading to potential cause for viral loads. So it is better we avoid those things. Gone are the days wherein you will be going out for hoteling or for touring just for the sake of keeping up your reputation or your social status. Until unless it is a real good cause to go out and celebrate. All the smaller reasons wherein every weekend you are going out to a hotel or once in every two months you are going out for a vacation. Those things might be a thing of the past. Until and unless it is really really necessary, people might not want to travel much. Why? Because the more you travel, the more will be your chances of getting in contact with somebody who has had an exposure to this virus. So it is best, yes people need recreation, people need a change of weather. It doesn't mean you need to actually go down to a far off place, an exotic holiday. Only then would your mind accept it. No, that's not true. Our ancient, our older generations, if you notice, they had excellent psychological health and physical health. They never used to travel so wide. For them, a, tra a distance of around 50, 100 kilometers, that uh, going to a small resort or a hotel and staying there for a weekend and coming back, that was good enough. You need not actually go on exotic holidays. So those things might reduce and there might be more taxes and impositions on such sort of luxury travel. So these things we need to keep in mind. If you are throwing out a party in your house or you are organizing an event, it might become mandatory that you mention in that particular invitation that your party location is taking adequate precautions to prevent the spread of COVID-19 or whatever virus which might come up in the future because this is not going to be the last. There would be many viruses or the same virus can reoccur. So it is very important we take adequate precautions, face masks, hand gloves, sanitizers, all of these things are here to stay. Window shopping in a mall, traveling to large gatherings, these things should be avoided at all costs. These restrictions which we have spoken of today, these things might be in place at least for the next one to two years. By then, we hope the scientists, they come up with adequate vaccines and even after the vaccine has been discovered, prevention is always better than cure. It is better we stick to the 
traditional way of living, traditional food, not indulging in exotic food. The food habits will also change, should also change. We stick to more of our traditional food. Traditional food is in the food which is grown naturally in your locality. A person who is living in one particular area, he need not eat apples if apples don't grow in his particular climatic condition. For him, whatever fruit or cereal or vegetable which grows in his particular in his particular climate, that is good enough for him. We need to concentrate more on our diet. We need to concentrate more on our lifestyle, and we also need to concentrate more upon our exercise and psychological health. We'll have many more videos like this, which will help you lead a very healthy life without having the need to be afraid of any sort of infection. Stay subscribed to this channel and press the bell icon. I am Dr. Suresh Swamyajula signing off for today.